Hi, I'm Danielle the Clay Lady. Welcome to my studio on the Clay Ladies campus in Nashville, Tennessee. Today, we're going to talk about cleaning your wheel without standing at the sink. In my studio, I have 17 wheels. Most classes have 20 to 25 students and one sink. So you can imagine what it's like at the end of class when everybody is trying to clean their wheels and clean their splash pans. What I'm getting ready to show you will also help if you have a studio at your home with just one sink without the proper trap or a place to put your clay. Now when you finish with your pot, it's on the shelf, it's wrapped, it's ready to dry so that you can trim it. And what we want to do next is to wipe all of our tools. You can use the sponge, you can use the dirty water. We're going to wipe our tools, set them out of your, your bucket. Put these in your toolbox. Then we want to clean the wheel head. We can use our sponge. Then we can pull our splash pans. Capture the water by turning the pan this direction. Then slowly watch it and you can pour all of the water that collected in your splash pan while you were throwing and put this in your bucket as well. Again, using your sponge. And now for the other side. Capture the water. Watch it as it slowly pours out. Use your sponge to wipe the rest of that out. In this bucket, not only do you have water, but you have clay, clay that does not need to go down your sink. In our classroom, what we do is we have a big trash can and all of this would go into that trash can. We call it the slurry bucket. All the water is cast off after the clay has had a chance to settle and then we let that dry and we reconstitute that and reuse it. If you have a home studio, you have two options. One, just wait till tomorrow the clay will settle, the water will be at the top, cast the water off, and then reuse that clay. Or you can have your own slurry bucket at home. I recommend a five gallon bucket with a trash can liner. After you've disposed of this bucket and it's dirty water, get one bucket full of clean water and a big sponge. Now we have the opportunity to clean our sponge, do another rinse on our tools, wipe down our work table, wipe the wheel head, and you can do a clean rinse. When you get finished wiping down your wheel with this water, you can just put this down the sink because there's no clay in it and it's watery enough that it's not going to cause any harm to your drain. This system works great, especially when you just have one sink. Mm -hmm.